what is up everyone welcome back to the channel and it's time for another pointless build video so today i'm building this wing well kind of a micro wing i built it like a while back with some scraps i had and uh, i just never got around to completing it so i thought i eh, might as well just do it today and it's the public holiday here so wishing all our muslim brother and sisters salam ayat mubarak so I've had this foam f wing for a while now and never got around to finishing it. This is a 3.5 inch size wing. First things first, we gotta get the electronics done and I'm gonna be using this 6 amp brushless ESC and the Happy Model 1103 11000 KV which is specifically for 2S. I'm gonna be trying with this Rush VTX but I've never had much success with this VTX so I'm not too sure. And we also have this LDARC camera which I've had lying around for the longest time. First thing we're going to do is make the mounts for the motor and I'm going to be using this popsicle stick and I'm going to be sticking it to the back of the wing. Initially I had plans to build a fuselage but I thought I'd just stick it directly on the wing and that'll be it. Now to make the mounts for the motors, I'm going to be using a tiny whoop frame and I'm just going to trace the motor mounts onto the popsicle stick and I mean the easiest way is the best way if you ask me. The rest of it is just fixing up the electronics and I'm going to be using the EPW5 ELRS receiver and this is a 5 channel receiver and I'm going to be connecting the servos, the motors as well as the camera onto the receiver. Just so you know, if you ever encountered animal wire on your ESCs or motors, what you need to do is just increase the temperature of your soldering iron to about 400 degrees. That will melt off the animal from the wire. And of course, it will burn the solder a little, but if you're gonna just thin the wires for soldering purposes, then a short while is fine, just don't breathe the fumes. Now that the electronics are all done, we're just going to make sure that everything is bound to the radio and the radio settings are all done correctly. We must make sure that the ailerons and the elevators are all correct. And of course, the video as well. And we got to check that the video is working. Go to the Rush VTX. It's not working again. Right, so I'm going to be using the Ishin TX05 instead. And this is just so much more reliable. Now I've noticed that the control surface is a little too long so I'm just gonna cut it to half and fit that onto the wing and I'm just gonna tape it up. Now that the electronics are all checked and everything is good we're just gonna have to attach everything onto the wing and head out to the field. Okay so this is another useless video where we try to see if this damn thing works. I find it's a bit too short. It works, just won't fly. Yeah, but still. So, it won't fly. Huh? It won't fly. Looking at it. Let's try, now. try and find out. This needs a rebuild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the motor angle also, it's not center of the axis. So it's one of the reasons is pulling right, right? Ah, pulling left. left. It's off center, towards the left. Oh. Right? 
Right. No, left. Left, <laughs> <laughs> left right. Oh, no, it's because I didn't glue it down properly. It's left, right? Right. I left. mean, left, yeah. It's, yeah, it glides, it's, doing but it's doing this. Yes. So the moment you throttle yeah. to get lift, it basically pulls down, pulls to the left. We can't do a fix now, right? It's like this, this uh, looks no, like... Ah, no, your control surface, you need to increase and uh, grab a big leaf. Well, otherwise I think it's quite, quite cool. It's like... It's cute. Yeah, and and the, and the, and the camera is quite good. Yeah. It's not yeah. bad. This is like the old Ishin... Ah, the old AIO. T, uh, TX something, 05, I think. Yeah. With that clover antenna. Classic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this project, it, I mean, it kind of works. Kind of. Kind of works, yeah. So, KIV to the next video. On a side note, although I didn't fly, there's a lot of things I learned and experienced through this build. It's time for the Volador 2. So, we have a trench. Well, a, a drain, more like canal. Longkang. Uh, what? Longkang? And the reason we are flying this is because of this. You just had to, right? You just had to. Stay on target. We're too close! Stay on target. So till the next video or rebuild, eh, sorry I covered your face. Huh? So till the till the next video of this rebuild, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao. Ciao.